Hey guys, uh, so do we have to know, as pilots, do we have to know every single thing that's in this cockpit? In general, yes we do, but some things we only refer to them when they are required and we know where to look for the information when it actually appears for us to make a reference to it if something comes up. But there's a lot of things which are called memory items which we keep in here. But generally, let's have a look at this cockpit. Electrics, over here. Hydraulics, over here. Navigation systems, IRS, over here. Standby power is also here, connected to the APU, over here. Fuel systems, over here. Engine starts, over here. Fuel jettison, jettisoning, dumping all the fuel to atmosphere, over here. Anti-ice, wing anti-ice and engine anti-ice, over here. Window heat, over here. Pressurization, up here. We also have the oxygen system here. If I move this, the mass in the cabin will drop. Over here, air conditioning. And the pack systems are over here with the bleed systems. All the lighting is here for inside and outside. Over here is the EFIS control. We set our minimum altimeter setting over here. Auto flight systems over here. Engaging the autopilots over here, setting altitude, heading, navigation, arming it, and so on. Here, systems monitoring over here. Okay, we monitor all the systems, all the pages. I've shown you that before. Over here, flight instruments. I've shown you that before. The standby attitude indicator, or ISFD as we call it. ICAS, upper ICAS, gives us alerts, warnings. This is where we react to it. Over here, the lower ICAS. Flight management system, there and there, two systems. Electronic checklist also appears over here, so if I select it here, there's an electronic checklist. This is currently on the pre-flight checklist, which we're going to do in a minute. Back to status. Thrust, over here. Speed brake, here. Flap, lever is over here. Engine fuel controls, over here. Alternate flap, here. Oh, I forgot to show you the uh, alternate gear and flap is also here. Auto brake is over here. And over here is communication system. All this is mostly communications. Weather radar here. Rudder trim over here. Aileron trim over here. Fasten seatbelt sign on and off here. I don't know if you can hear that chime. And over here is the fasten seatbelt sign. You see seatbelts on. If I switch it off here, that will disappear. That's gone off. If I put it back on, a second or two later, it comes back seatbelts on. So, most of the things we know exactly what's going on in this aeroplane. For anything that we don't refer to regularly, we look at the uh, ICAS and refer to the QRH for that. So, do we know everything? But of course, we're the pilots later.